So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Today I would like uh, to show you this uh, beautiful antique microscope slide. Um, it contains uh, the shells of foraminifera, or also known as forams. I think I need to explain this a little bit. Um, those tiny dots, white dots that you see here, these are the shells of single-celled uh, protists, single-celled microorganisms um, called foraminifera, and they produce intric intricate shells. And uh, now they've arranged several of those here on this microscope microscope slide. Um, the slide label is uh, difficult to read here. It says here Polystromella crispa and indeed that is uh, the name um, of uh, yeah, a certain species of foraminifera. So I bought this slide um, online. Uh, unfortunately uh, I do not know exactly how old it is. I do assume it's around 100 years old uh, based on the way that the slide is made and also on the handwriting and the slide label. Um, but unfortunately there is not a lot of information on here so my suggestions is if you make slides yourself uh, put more information on it. Now when I turn the slide around we're able to see that um, essentially it's not transparent okay normally microscope slides are transparent but this one over here um, contains paper so they uh, put paper in here um, to give it a black background um, so that's the reason why um, those white uh, tiny uh, forum shells here are better visible on the back black black background. Uh, this is a beautiful example to observe using my stereo microscope and that's what I'm gonna do next. So but let's have a look at the slide label first. Yeah so here here we go. Uh, Polystomella crispa indeed. Uh, this is uh, an organism that I found also when I did a little bit of research. Uh, and uh, now let's uh, put the um, yeah the actual specimen under the microscope. Here it is. And what I have to do now is, is I have to adjust a little bit also the exposure time of uh, the camera uh, because otherwise I'm not able to see anything properly. So let's uh, first uh, go up with the magnification and refocus. You see that uh, essentially it's overexposed. Yeah, I think this is here now a, a bit better. We can see that there are, of course, five specimens here. And when we look at them, they look a little bit uh, yeah, like in a spiral shape, like almost like snail. Um, but of course, they're not snails. And they have uh, separate chambers in here, tiny little chambers. Um, and uh, what they contain is, is a single-celled uh, um, microorganism, a single-celled uh, protist. Yeah? So those forms can be found, um, yeah, of course, um, also in sand, for example, in some sand samples contain, the, contain, contain them. And what people have done in the past is, is that when they tried to arrange them on for micro microscopy, they pulled out one of their eyelashes, um, um, which is very fine and pointed, and they used those eyelashes then to move those tiny uh, specimens around on the microscope slide. Something that surprised me a little bit here is, is look at this fuzzy, um, yeah, white uh, thing in the background here. Um, indeed, it looks looked a little bit almost like a fungus. Um, so maybe that could be the mycelium of a fungus. So maybe the microscope slide actually got bad <laughs> over the years. I don't know. Um, but in any case, it was kind of uh, stretching throughout uh, the whole sample here, kind of uh, yeah, adding this, this uh, strange network. I have to have a closer look um, at it, what it actually is. Um, but in any case, I just wanted to share this with you because I think it's a, it's a beautiful, nice sample um, that uh, I think is worth uh, being... Uh, shown to other people as well. I'm going to leave it at that for today. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.